These monstrous geese are squishing in the border. Look at this. They're just so big. You guys are so big. Look at you. I know. So big. Hi. Yeah, I know. You want to go through the roof. So we're going to build you a graduation booter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> whoop de doo Where are you? In there. I can see it. Yeah, what's going on? You are just so big. There's somebody underneath there. There's somebody underneath there. Get the princess spot in there. And then there's another one there. Hey guys, hi. Well, it's time to move on. These guys are getting big. It's only two weeks. Yes, two weeks to go this big. Crazy. So we're building kind of like a chicken tractor for them to go outside. These fern strips are fairly cheap. Like I think they're like three three ninety five or something a piece at Home Depot, something like that. No fancy hardware, just cutting angles. Love that miter saw, it's just really helpful. And I got all these ends, rolls of hardware cloth, and some remnants of roofing, so let's see you get this together. For tonight, I'm gonna call it quits. Finished building the lid portions, and added a little lip here. So, this prevents it from sliding off, and in the middle it's just completely loose. Let's see if I can get away not adding hinges. Not sure what latching mechanism to come, but first I want to actually stain it so it'll last more than a year. Get this water cleanup exterior wood finish, so that's next. Yes, you guys gotten so, so big. Look how big you are now. Okay. What are you doing? How are you doing? Kill anybody yet? Let's see. Let's find out. Let's find out how we're doing in there. Oh my goodness, it's tight, I know. One, two. You're all balled up in the corner, it's not a warm day, I know. It's like not even 45 degrees out, I think. Little baby sheep was shivering too. Alright kids, I've got to go get on with the next stage cage for you guys. I decided to use... Peg joints for the lid so it can sit flush. Fancy construction for building a little booter, but I like the way it comes out. So the first half of the lid is done. And on the top, this looks like that. And underneath, the crack joints are making it so that it's flush. I decided to put the corners in, 45 degree corners, to stabilize that joint. You guys just never stop growing, you're so big now. Look at this. Oh my goodness, how big you are. Okay. Look down. Oh no. We're working on it. Because this is where you go once the nights are warm enough. And definitely once the days are warm enough. I'm going to get in there over the day. But half of it stapled with wire mesh. There's another roll over there that needs to go on the other half. And the long roll goes on the tops, and then they can go outside. Can't wait. But now I gotta go and teach. 
Good morning. Hey guys, good morning. You got even bigger. Let me see. You got even bigger. And I know I scare you every time I open this. I scare you. You are too big for this. Look at this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't step on your friends. And it's down. Woo! We really need to finish this today. So they can go out on grass during the day. That is the goal. It's still too cold for all night, but if I can get them out midday for a couple hours on grass, that'd be great. I only need to finish the wire mesh on the lid and then put on some of those corrugated plastic, at least on the roof and maybe on some of the side. It's a lucky break when you realize that the scraps of roofing material from the last bill are enough to create a roof for this one. I can probably cut this one down too, and I found these, I think, at a yard sale. Like that old corrugated, you can't even see it, it's like this stuff, and it's perfect. It's a little shy here, but I think air gaps aren't really that bad, just a little wind break for them. And then I have another little piece here. So I'm going to just attach those as a wind break. And then we need one more piece of wire mesh to go over this lid. This one's already got the wire mesh underneath. And we should be in business. Now all that's missing is a way to lock it down because the lid is just set down. Let this stop so it's not protected from lateral movement at this point. It can't go this direction because there's a piece of wood holding it down. But it still could go sideways. So I attached two of these hooks, one in the lid and one on the bottom. And I'm going to just put a carabiner in there. And that should be able to lock it down for safety. Like so. Now we're going to do the other side and then we're done. Of course it's raining and these guys are really not sure what to do with all this freedom but hopefully they'll just and we're getting used to this we're taking baths it's freaking cold out i don't think it's 60 it's maybe 50 degrees out right now so but they're not balling up anymore I'm hopefully figuring out that there's a dry side to their shelter and it looks like I should maybe, after they've taken their baths, give them fresh water already. They were really deprived of that during the food. <laughs> oh boy. Try again. That pond is too small. Hilarious. Yep, gotta keep you safe, guys. Before geese, after geese, during geese, after geese. They mow the lawn and fertilize in one go. I saw three yesterday, so there's probably another one under you. You had any more hatch overnight? I don't know. Let's 
So I thought the paint tray would be a good way to give the chicks water. Not sure if that's going to work. You're still not eating, Mommy, huh? Is there another one under you? I can't believe you're keeping them out. Just like that. Just like that. Oh, oh. Oh, baby. You're so yellow. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what happens. You've gotten so big. Time to move you. All the way down there. Time to move. At eight weeks old, they are now almost fully grown, and I purchased a darb kennel and a similar that put cattle panel on the bottom to prevent predators from digging in, and I also put some wire mesh underneath that fabric canopy, hoping to keep the worst of the predators out. Guys, how do you like your new house? How do you like that? Should be very goose like, likeable. No? What do you think? Okay, fine. You'll figure it out. I'm sure you will. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, your brothers and sisters are just down the way. Whatever they are. Hello, kids. Hello. Hi, guys. You do respond to me. That's amazing. Hey, guys. I know. Bye-bye. From now on, they're free-ranging during the day and locked up in the dark kennel overnight. Good night, guys.